Breaking, breaking, Arkell's update, Arkell's update. Now let's get to it. And I look and I say, has there been a miscarriage of justice? And in my mind, a miscarriage of justice occurs when the government oversteps, when they overreach, when they violate someone's constitutional right to a fair trial. And then I ask myself, is there anything I can do about it? Can I possibly get this individual some type of remedy, some type of relief? And when I looked at R. Kelly's case, I found that both of those things were true. And uh, so I, I had no reservations about taking R. Kelly's case. What I see was a travesty of justice and how the process worked. And when the process doesn't work, the outcomes are not fair, they're not righteous. And as a result, uh, I took R. Kelly's case. And I pass on cases, but this is a case that I felt satisfied both of those requirements. Okay, everyone. Yeah, there you have it. There. Okay, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mix. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe per usual. If you all are interested in donating, hit that cash up right here, right here. Right here. Yes, all donations go toward content enhancement creation. Please listen to this video. Yes, from beginning to end. I won't keep you all long. I have polls going on in the community section. So head on over there and vote, 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 vote. Everyone, it's free to like, it's free to share, it's free to subscribe. If you can't donate, just do that. Like my video, share my video, and subscribe to The Mix. Help push a girl through the algorithm. Now, let's me jump right into the topic. Okay, everyone, as you can see what this video is going to be about, again, hit that like, share, subscribe. It's free to like, it's free to share, and it is free to subscribe. Today is Friday. It's the weekend. It's early morning for me. Yes, Friday. Friday. It's actually holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend. So you guys, wherever you are at in the world, be safe, enjoy life, and all of that good stuff. Okay, let me jump right into the topic. Mr. Robert Kelly, yes, there is an update, surprisingly, you guys. This is so much to keep up with. Um, let me just kind of give you a rundown. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything. I'll do a double check on that later on just to make sure and probably do an update if I am missing something. So, Chicago State case um, charges dropped, and that was back in 2023 for Mr. Robert Kelly. This is a rundown of the cases that I'm aware of, unless I'm missing something. Okay, so that's number one. The Chicago State case dropped. Uh, it was dismissed in January 2023. And then you have R. Kelly, the $4 million lawsuit was overturned in February 2024 and then you have Mr. Robert Kelly sues the BOP and Tasha K the lawsuit is still pending um he sued them um I think back in November of 2023 correct me if I'm wrong in the chat so that's number three so that uh, the results of that is still pending the first case I named was a criminal case which was the Chicago uh, Illinois state case that was dropped by the Cook County uh, state's attorney in Chicago that was a criminal case that was dropped because the feds picked it up in my opinion and other stuff. So I'll drop the links in the description section of this post, the content I've done on uh, Mr. Robert Kelly. Okay. And then the $4 million civil judgment that was overturned. Yes. In February, 2024, that's civil money wise, BOP and Tasha K lawsuit pending. That's civil. Um, meaning it's not criminal. Then I have number four down on number four work, um, appeal is he filed that in February, 2024. That, to my understanding, is pending. Yes, it is. The New York criminal case is pending. It's on appeal and it's pending results. Um, number five, Kelly sues um, the United States for seizing commissary money. And that was filed. That's civil wise. That was filed in March of 2024. So results of that is pending. Number six, R. Kelly sues the MCC for medical neglect. Uh, the results of that is pending. That's another civil. Oh, my gosh. And then the Chicago one, criminal one lost that appeal so i think attorney jennifer Rajin, in my opinion is waiting for the new york criminal appeals to get, deliver their results and contingent on that i'm sure she will probably push it up to the united states supreme court hopefully the outcome prayerfully the outcome is in mr robert kelly's favor for the new york appeal case so correct me if i'm wrong so i have to give that rundown those who are r kelly you know supporters and uh, most importantly supporters of the law supporters of how the law should operate and work from a prosecutorial perspective drop some thumbs up in the chat uh, drop some free r kelly's in the chat you're more than welcome to do that free robert kelly free r kelly free r kelly so Okay, let me get to this update. It came across my desk on Twitter. Sorry, it's early morning for me, you guys. I haven't had any coffee. I haven't had any tea. I just kind of hop right into it. Have a busy weekend. I'm trying to get some content out to you guys um, because I enjoy doing content and I still have some things in the works. So just bear with me. So let me head on over to X, formerly known as Twitter, and deliver to you guys from the desk of attorney, Jennifer Mangine.
Okay, you guys, as you see right here, this is attorney Jennifer Bachin's ex account, formerly known as Twitter, and she posted this about 17 hours ago. I was just like, what, what, what's going on? She didn't go into details though. So let me maximize this if I can. Um, as you can see, attorney Jennifer Bachin tweeted this, another frivolous lawsuit against R. Kelly tossed. Bye girl, the criminal courts need to start doing the right thing. We won't stop fighting either way until we free R. Kelly. <laughs> so much rah rah, legal rah rah. I love it. I love it. I love an attorney who represents their client to the fullest. Between Young Thug attorney and Attorney Jim for Bajang, man, they Young Thug and R. Kelly have to have the best attorneys. They do because they are totally vested in their clients and most importantly, the law, the letter of the law. Google that, you guys. I don't have time to go over for those who are in the back who may not understand. Just check out some of my videos. I'll drop the links in the description section of this post. I'm not here to argue Mr. Kelly's guilt or innocence. And although, in my opinion, I do not believe he is guilty of what those criminal complaints are citing. So, and I also, I do not believe that there was legal um, standings to even prosecute Mr. Robert Kelly. And I've said that before. So, but yeah. Okay, let me jump right into the chat. You have these comments. Okay, somebody says, okay, thank you, Jennifer Bajin. Please don't. R. Kelly is innocent. The government cheated. So it's not a win. Boom. This right here. This right here. This is the post. This is the post. And I always say this in a previous video. I've said before, you have to color inside the lies. If even if a person is caught red handed with their hand in a cookie jar, even if a person is caught on tape, that's not how the law works. You can't color outside the lines to convict, to land a conviction, to prosecute and land a conviction. That's not how it works, you guys. It's not. That's how, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the United States of America Constitution and the government, who, whoever created that. You know, it's the letter of the law, law of the land, you know. So you have rights. I have rights. Exercise your rights. And I say that respectfully in whatever capacity it is, especially when it comes to the justice system, you guys, especially if you have the resources to do so, because sometimes that's what make or break. And oftentimes, huh, even if you have resources, if you don't have a good attorney who knows the, the just the, the the law of the land when it comes to how to navigate these legal streets, these court streets, then I don't know. Money may not help you. Resources might, may not help you if you don't have a highly skilled attorney like attorney Jennifer Bajin, in my opinion, in my most humble opinion. Just check her resume, check her website. I mean, it's, as I said before, pit bull in a skirt. So, but this comment right here, yes, I love this comment. You, the government cheated, so it's not a win. Here this person said, also, I can't understand how a lawyer can be on a federal wiretap extorting a shoe giant executive talking about Kelly saying it was easy setting up the golden goose and no one bats an eye. What boggles my name, bo excuse me, boggles my mind. How that alone doesn't raise antennas. Sheesh. I <laughs> talk about this case is just full of um, just BS malarkey <laughs> corruption, <laughs> in my opinion, alleged corruption. Okay. This person says, talk your ish, Jennifer. I know our Kelly will be free soon. I feel it in my soul. This person said free chaos. This person said if a person doesn't learn anything else from these cases, they should know that you can't continue to make false lawsuits against someone and think you will come out on top. Thank you. Boom. That is another thing. These frivolous, like Attorney Jennifer Bajin said, frivolous lawsuits from a civil perspective, the money wise. As I said before earlier, what that four million dollar, uh, four million dollar lawsuit got tossed. You know, it was overturned. Boom. Um, and to my understanding, with that, it was because he wasn't his attorneys wasn't properly served, and a couple other um, legal arguments that went in Mr. Robert Kelly's favor, and that judgment was vacated. That four million dollar judgment was vacated a few months ago. So wins for Mr. R. Kelly. But you guys, I want to know what is Ms. Attorney Jennifer Bajane talking about? Man, I've been searching the internet, searching high, looking low. I wonder, is it this the ten million dollar lawsuit he was pushing back? Um, that was. 10.5 million dollar judgment that was awarded and um these quote-unquote alleged victims over back in november i believe in 2023 last year 2023 we're just gonna say that don't quote me on the months or the dates you guys get on the internet do your little research yourself fact check me if need be you know i always encourage that here on the mix but in january of 2024 this year he pushed back legal wise you know of course attorney jennifer Bajing, basically like you know they're citing matter of fact i'm going to go ahead and head on over to um this article and share this information with you guys but as you can see another frivolous lawsuit against r kelly toss by girl the criminal courts need to start doing the right thing boom we won't stop fighting either way until we free mr robert kelly boom
Okay, you guys, again, excuse me, it's early morning. I haven't had my tea, my coffee. <laughs> I haven't had none of that, so excuse my voice, all of that. So, okay, this was posted on TMZ, I'm sorry, TMZ back in January of this year. R. Kelly pushes back against the 10.5 milli lawsuit. I'm not responsible. So, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I haven't confirmed this, you guys. I'm wondering, is this connected to what attorney Jennifer Bajin posted? I even went on her website, her legal website, her law firm's website, and couldn't find anything. So, I'm just like, what is going on? What is she talking about? She didn't give any context to it, as you can see. So, it's a TMZ. This is posted back in January. R. Kelly is firing back against a huge judgment levy leveled against him in a lawsuit involving women who claim they were victimized by him. He says he didn't know about the suit and should not be held accountable. Here's the deal. Six women were awarded $10.5 million in August. Okay, I stand correct. In August, after suing him and his former manager, Donnell Russell, claiming they were responsible for an effort to shut down a December 2018 New York City screening, New NYC screening of the surviving series with a mass pow pow threat. He just paused right here. I remember when that happened. I'm like, R. Kelly ain't had nothing to do with that. He, it's like they, oh gosh, oh my goodness. Whew. Talk about some sketchiness. Talk, talk about some fraudulent just charges and accusations uh, from a criminal talk about some frivolous claim from a civil you know and all alleged alleged i have to say that you guys so but yeah it's all in my opinion from a criminal and civil perspective just frivolous it, it makes make it make sense it's just not making sense to me okay the article further cites according to new legal docs obtained by tmz again you guys this is back in january but in my opinion this is possibly speaking to what attorney jennifer bajin just posted yesterday on x formerly on his twitter um regarding a case being tossed out but again i couldn't i even was googling i'm like no one has reported on anything see if i could find a case number and maybe go to new york's website it, time is of the essence for me so i'll see if i can get to that so the article further cites according to new legal docs obtained by tmc kelly claims he would have defended himself against the lawsuit if he knew about the darn thing boom the singer claims his head is already spinning over his various criminal cases and prosecutions and he's been sued so many times lately he can hardly keep up with it all from his prison cell in north carolina boom that's what i was saying you got it's, this is just so much to keep up it's just to me it keeps bleeding out bleeding out bleeding out however 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 in my opinion attorney jennifer Rajin is gaining some type of control of the bleeding you know so it's it's, it's slow it's a slow flow now and she's putting a stop to a lot of frivolous lawsuits, in my opinion. Okay, the article further cites Kelly also claims he also shuffled legal teams since being um, locked up. And he says this lawsuit must have slipped through the cracks or not have been delivered to him behind bars at all. So what do you all think, you guys? Do you all think that this is the lawsuit that probably was tossed? Again, he challenged this. He pushed back this year, January 2024, um, in legal documents. Remember, the judgment was awarded against these people back in August of last year, the $10.5 million judgment. So Mr. Robert Kelly is citing that, hey, he wasn't even aware of this. And if he known, he would have pushed back. And also he changed, I think, um, legal counsels or something like that. So you can't, you know, yes, these are technicalities, but wins don't continue to go far if you're not coloring inside the lines from a, a legal and prosecutorial perspective. And the article further cites, even if the law... Even if the lawsuit had been received, Kelly says he would not be able to understand it or distinguish it from any other legal document saying he relies on his lawyers to explain things to him because I cannot read or understand words beyond that of a grade schooler. Okay, the article for the sites. What more, what's more, Kelly claims Donnell was never his manager as the lawsuit claimed. And he says he had no idea Russell was trying to stop the surviving screening. Boom. So basically the lawsuit in itself claims that dude wasn't even his manager. You know, so it's just, it's like, oh, what a tangle web we weave. So, okay, everyone. So what are your thoughts? Drop some comments in the chat. Drop some comments in the chat. Keep it respectful and peaceful. There will be no Mr. Robert Kelly hate over here on my channel. Check my videos. Check my videos to see what my content is about when it comes to Mr. Robert Kelly. Again, I'm not here to argue guilt or innocence, although I believe in my opinion, he is not guilty of the crimes that they say he committed in those criminal suits. So, you go ahead and do your own research and read it for yourself. Read the complaints yourself. Read his his responses through his attorney, you know, his appeal complaints and all of that. Read it for yourself. Appeal br briefs. Read that for yourself. Read it for yourself. Anyway, so do you all think attorney Jennifer Bonjean, um is talking about the 10.5 milli lawsuit that was um, he challenged back in January? I'm wondering if it's that, but like Mr. Robert Kelly said, it's so many doggone lawsuits, frivolous lawsuits, alleged frivolous lawsuits, lawsuits to keep up with. I'm just so 
I kind of like, oh my gosh, like I, I gave you guys a rundown earlier. Hopefully I'm not missing something. I could be missing something because it's just so much to keep up with, unfortunately. So, but let me know your thoughts down in the chat. Attorney Jennifer Bongean is on top of it. Mic check, mic check, update, update, Mr. Robert Kelly, update, yes. Her recent post on X, formerly known as Twitter. Again, you guys, that was a recent post on X. I know some of you guys do not have all these social media platforms and it's okay, but that's why I'm here to try to bring some content to you guys regarding different cases because everybody's not going to report on this everyone they're not going to report on the wins or they're not going to be too quick to report on the wins so i'm going to try to do some more digging to see to gain more context to her tweet because that is important to me i like to bring information that is uh, as accurate as possible if you get my point it, with any situation even if i don't agree with something i like to bring receipts you know so but let me know your thoughts you guys down in the chat what do you all think she meant by this as you can see right here and um yeah yeah let's get the discussion going if i have any more of developing information i will bring it to you guys um, as it comes across my desk and time permits and i just thank you all for your continued support those domestically and internationally like this video share this video and i will talk to you all soon bye